Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I like to show you that how to replace this Toyota Yaris year models 2006 to 2011 this uh, front brake pads, pads, brake pads, and and here I am starting this job, and there is this metallic pin, what is easy to take out using tongs, and that kind of tongs is easy. And now this part is here. And then I insert that away and then it's good to rotate this brake disc that it is easier to open those bolts what are in this back area, in other area. And now I am I I went to inside in cabin area and I steer in the steering wheel. And now this disc is in this right position. Okay, and then there are those bolts, and they are like hidden, and it's good to use that kind of mirror. It helps to look those black bolts, what I am touching now in my finger, and finger <coughs> tells that there are those bolts, and, and there is this plastic uh, cover, what we can take out easily using our fingers. And now it's out, and there is deep hole, and <coughs> this is this this cover, and then I there is two those plastic covers, and I take those both away using my fingers. Look mirror. Okay, they can be a little bit tight, but we can use also tongs. Okay, and then there is interesting deep hole that we need then this six corner tool what I can I next show to you that it is the sides sides is in that shape tool and then we look <coughs> that sides what it was there are it is something like eight millimeter there is the H double V seven is the symbol and I remember that the size is something like 7 or 8 millimeters. Standard tool. And then mirror is good also when we set up the tool in there. And we insert that in deep. A little bit rotation that we can find this tool place. And then we need friends. Friends that we can rotate that tool. There is my friends. And these bolts, they are not very fast. They are quite easy to open. When we rotate in that direction, what I will show next, that, that in that way, that we, we use first one open, and then this rotation is just what I am like up to down in that way. And soon that bolt is also open. Okay, then a little bit rotation. And then I use my fingers. And there is a little bit time to rotate that bolt. Then only fingers rotation. And then there was situation that those bolts, they were like inside, that we need to only rotate that in that some part. And then we check in mirror that, that are they open or not. And it's easy to see that when they are away, like in here, when, when we control. And this mirror is good tool also in that job. Okay, now I rotate and we can see that this bolt is moving there. And then I I use screwdriver that I can move that bolt away in this whole area. Look that now there is this I move that bolt totally away using this screwdriver. This is this is hint important part because if we don't take that away then this brake caliper is difficult to 
take away and this is important job and we need screwdriver and now we have moved that about this about one centimeter there is this now hole between this bolt and please do similar setting in in your brake caliber okay good and then I do same thing in this lower bolt and mirror this was this was interesting okay now we check that what is situation and little bit rotation and more rotation and now there is this gap between this bolt and again screwdriver and in that way we can move that bolt okay good Okay, now bolt moves. Okay. And now we can try to take this brake caliper out. Both hands and a little bit movement side by side and up and down. And then that kind of tool helps also to move that brake caliper out. Okay, now it moves. Okay, and also movement in this down area because it is stuck and then I use screwdriver and fingers movement and then in down area screwdriver and finally it opens and again I need that picker tool and there it moves okay good this and then movement and this caliper becomes loosened. Oh yes, now it opens. Good. And then I move that caliper in up, like in that it is in. It is it is away. And then then we check that hey there is brake pad, and I take it out. It is there is interesting metallic fastener. There and now it's free. And there is those old brake pad and new brake pad. And look this difference. And there is in Toyota way inner right comment, but it's very useful. And inner is inner goes in their inside area. And then there was this another brake pad. It was a little bit stuck, and we we need to then then use this screwdriver and, and it is quite tight and it is difficult to open but when I bend this flat screwdriver it finally opens but this is not normal that brake pads are so tight and it goes open a little by little and then I use that that more crowbar, small crowbar and then I think that I clean a little bit this brake pad those steering steering 
roads that where brake pads are moving. Okay, and other side too. And then I have specific copper paste lubricant what is suitable for repairings. This is very hot resistant grease. This is good to use. And I insert that in here. Purpose is that this gives better lubricant and no corrosion risk in brake pads. Good stuff. And there is new brake pad. And I insert also in there this copper grease. Both sides up and down in this patch and then I insert that brake pad in there in that way and it goes first in this up area and then down area there is the idea it is easier to install in that way And then I press this brake pad in there. And then I use like hammer that my tool and little bit knobs and and those hits. And it, it looks good. Okay, and then the other brake pad also copper paste in there okay looks good up and down areas copper paste and there is brake caliper and in that area we, we need to compress that piston back and there is this piston and we need big tongs in there that we can press that piston back using tongs and it's there is this good nice area in this caliper where we can set up these tongs those grippers and then then we need to only press this caliper back and it is sometimes if we have those bad quality tongs like I had it can be a little bit difficult and we need to use gloves and be careful that we don't hurt our fingers and hand and now now this takes time when I try to compress this piston back and there was this issue that I had a little bit poor tongs and it was difficult to press that in but now it moves many times when I try this finally goes this piston back to in And it's if you have bigger tongs, then it's much easier to do that job. Okay, and this takes time. And this this takes time.
Okay, now it's finally. Okay, and then I invented that I can compress this piston back using this brake disc. And I insert that brake disc in there. And then I start to compress this piston so that I, I insert my flat screwdriver and I use those brake disc and this brake pad. Actually there is no brake pad, only brake disc that and then I move that my flat screwdriver and in that way I can press this brake caliper piston back. Okay and then I notice that bolts a little bit back. Okay. And, and in that way we can we can compress this piston back. But it is sometimes sometimes quite tight. Now I use bigger tool. Okay, it goes better and again I press this using my flat screwdriver. Okay, and then, then I took bigger screwdriver that I have force. And let's look at how this works. This helps also. And now pist piston cylinder moves better. Okay, the key was that bigger screwdriver gives more force. Now there is big hole. Okay, good. And then I take that away and then break disc back in there. That and soon but and there is hint that first I insert that brake disc in this this brake calipers piston in that way. Only need to press that in there and press and force and now it went. This is hint. Good to insert in that way. Looks good. Okay, and then we check that these all parts are balanced, and then it goes nicely. And then, then it's time to install those bolts back. Bolts back, and, and there is my tool. And then again, rotation using fingers. And then when we move that brake caliber, it's easier to install this bolt back. It goes quite nicely. And then down bolt. First tool in there and then rotation. This is a little bit interesting, <laughs> interesting brake caliber, but it works quite nice. Okay, and then, then we need to press that bolt in, and then rotation. Okay, good. And again rotation, and it's easy to use fingers, because it is faster. And a little bit movement in this brake caliper that it takes better contact. And then I took these friends that I can fasten harder and more tighten these bolts. 
and remember that do not use too much force because these bolts were something like force what was 20 newton meters if we if we use this Togue French tool 20 or 30 newton meters but this small French is good and one one hand tightening Okay, now, now down array is fine, and then upper array. Okay, and then the, there are those bolts, plastic covers, and we press those back. It is rubber boot, and we insert only those plastic covers in their back. Okay, and then there is this difficult part that we need to insert this metallic pin and wire back and this was actually quite hard job. There are two holes and where we need to insert that first hole in there, this is easy, but then there was this idea that how to press that wire in this another hole. Hole. and this was really difficult and it takes time to me many minutes to install but then there is trick what I invent that that we need to bend this central area and please please look a little bit forward that in that way but now it is not right it is, but we need to bend this central area and this wire and then it is easier to install because this was difficult job to do maybe the most difficult part in this replace and please go a little bit forward because there is this my idea that I I bent that wire because this is bad okay and then when we have installed that wire back Please remember to press this brake pedal 20 times that those brake pads set up well and they keep good contact. And when you have installed this wire, please remember to, to go cabin area and press brake pedal 20 times, two zero times. Okay, and then I, I thank you that you have watched, watched it that watch that video so much and 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 have a nice day to you and see you in next video thank you very much and have a nice day to you